As part of Vanuatu's commitment to meet the goals of the Paris Agreement, the government of Vanuatu, with the assistance of the Global Green Growth Institute, the government of New Zealand and the government of France, is developing a long-term low-emissions development strategy, or LEDs, with a strategic vision to 2050 to reduce emissions across all sectors in a way that supports resilient, sustainable and equitable growth for its people. The LEDs acts like a window to the future, providing insight into how Vanuatu can meet its Paris commitments with a long-term goal of net zero emissions for all of Vanuatu by 2050. Like most of the Pacific Island nations, Vanuatu has relied on expensive imported fuel to generate its electricity. In 2020, more than 14 million liters of diesel were used for power generation, which equates to more than 32,000 tons of CO2 being released into the atmosphere. This reliance on fossil fuels creates challenges in terms of energy security and affordability. Vanuatu is dependent on, on fossil fuel uh, mostly. Um, pretty much 80% of, of the electricity generation in Vanuatu uh, comes from uh, fossil fuel or diesel. Typically we have households uh, that uh, are key consumers of electricity in Vanuatu. And then we have public institution, um, the tourism industries, who is also a big user of the uh, electricity. Uh, we have industries, uh, a bit of uh, factories and other, other big consumers that uh, uh, consume electricity as well. Vanuatu's National Energy Roadmap has set a path to 2030 with ambitious goals for 100% power generation from renewable sources and affordable access to power for all people across the 83 island archipelago. The National Energy Roadmap is not just about renewable energy sources, it also looks at energy efficiencies, affordability and accessibility. Our targets are sort of ambitious to achieve by 2030, but uh, we can only achieve that uh, through technical support and financial support from our key uh, development partners, donors um, and other partners that uh, are assisting us in, in driving the National Energy Roadmap. Geographical distances between the 80 plus islands and poor access creates major challenges when it comes to rural electrification. However, much work has been done to bring small scale solar systems to the rural communities through the successful VREP program. There's also been rapid development of both large and small scale solar projects across all islands for both power generation and water pumping with mini grids for small rural communities. The commissioning of the Kawene Plateau wind farm in 2008 brought 3 megawatts of renewable capacity to the main island of Efate, which equates to 15% of the energy needs for that concession. Vanuatu has also seen the successful development of the Sarakata Hydro project in the largest island of Santo, which in 2020 supplied 75% of the power for Santo, bringing low-cost electricity to residents and industry. In Efate, renewable coconut oil has been used extensively at the main generation plant as an alternative to diesel. It's proven uh, in terms of the technology. Uh, and the advantage is uh, the, the coconut oil is produced locally uh, instead of being imported abroad. Um, but we've been utilizing um, coconut oil as a base load uh, generating source as well. Energy for cooking is also a major challenge. The majority of families still use timber for daily cooking, with the average family burning around 2.2 cubic meters of firewood per year, or the equivalent of more than two tons of CO2 per family that's going into the atmosphere, as well as creating poor air quality in the communities and degrading native forest areas. Fuel wood is not a free resource. It costs time and money to harvest and supply, and in the urban areas, firewood has become a prime commodity. A growing proportion of households are using bottled gas for cooking, and it is widely used in commercial kitchens and industry. But all bottled gas is imported to Vanuatu, and the cost can be too high for those on small budgets. It's important that we look at alternative ways of cooking and sources of cooking that is much cleaner. 
rapidly emerging technologies are already driving massive change around the world to seek clean energy alternatives to fossil fuels. However, if Vanuatu is to truly meet its goals of 100% renewable energy by 2030, all opportunities for renewable energy generation must be developed. New hydroelectric projects in Malekula and Santo are already underway, as are more wind generators as well as studies into the use of geothermal, wave and tidal energy. Energy storage via conventional batteries or other new technologies must form part of the plan to meet the future demand. With the further expansion of rural mini-grids and home solar, low-cost induction cookers will start replacing firewood. Biogas is already being used at various sites and homes around Vanuatu, but a wider uptake would see a reduction in firewood for cooking. Using animal and even human waste in the digester can help to deal with water supply contamination at a village level, whilst providing a rich natural fertilizer for use in the food gardens. Government policy can drive energy efficiencies throughout the public sector and to homes and businesses. For example, new policies can be developed around appliance standards and new codes for energy-efficient building materials. By achieving energy efficiencies, we reduce the overall amount of energy needed and the cost of energy supply. The transition to green energy creates opportunities for green job creation and opens the doors for new industries and new locally grown expertise through education and training. We are working on our long-term uh, low emission development strategies that would uh, guide us into how we intend to transition out from fossil fuel dependent into using 100% uh, renewable energy generation. And that is advantage in terms of uh, guaranteeing the security, energy security of Vanuatu. The Vanuatu LEDs looks to the energy needs of the future, a future which is carbon net zero and powered 100% with renewable energy. The LEDs provides a pathway to plan, prepare and meet these needs and goals, paving the way for an energy independent future for Vanuatu.